take a look at this. This is a long exposure photograph of San Diego sunrise. So you can see that the water just got nice and flat from that long exposure and a really nice sunrise. Beautiful picture as it is, but what if we wanted to create some sort of a reflection of this cityscape and sky in the water? Well, we can quickly do that in Photoshop using generative fill. So check this out. So we're in Lightroom now, but if we right click and say edit in Photoshop, we'll let Photoshop open this up for us. Okay, now that we are open in Photoshop, uh, this is very simple. We'll just go in and select our um, lasso tool here. So we select lasso and then hold down the option key and then select around the water. And in this case, it's basically just a rectangle, so it makes it super easy. So we'll just select all the way across here. And we can try it a couple times if it doesn't work quite the way we hoped, but uh, we'll just make our selection so that it includes all of the water, close it, and then it's as simple as this. We we'll get the generative fill box that pops up. And so if we just type in what we want to happen, in this case, let's say reflect sky in water. We literally just tell Photoshop what we want and then click generate and it'll create some results for us. It does it pretty quickly depending on the speed of your computer, but it'll give you three results to look at. And so here are some initial results. Look at that. What a cool, unique result. We can look at the second option over here. We can click the third option to see what we like. They're all pretty similar. I don't know which one I like best. Probably number two or number three. I like number three the best. It's more the most realistic, I think. It almost looks makes it look like a painting, right? Pretty cool. So. I mean, once we have that, we're essentially done. I mean, there's really nothing else that we need to do here. We've taken it and created an entire new photograph. We can push shift and select the second layer and just flatten this image once we're happy with it. Close it in Photoshop, hit save, and then reopen it in Lightroom. And there we go. Now we have an entirely unique image based off of this which is a lovely photograph in my opinion, <laughs> and then brought it into Photoshop, used the new generative fill tool, and created something super unique. So you can do that on just about anything. You can, you can use that function to add whatever you want to a photo. You can reflect the sky, you can add a house, you can put in animals. I mean, that's really unlimited, whatever your imagination wants to do. But it comes with the, co the caveat of just being honest about it and don't create stuff and share it as though it's a real photograph. First of all, because other photographers will see it and know that it's been artificial intelligence <laughs> and, uh, it, and people will know it, like if you don't own it. And then on the other side, somebody who might be just getting into photography may think that that's something that they can go out and create and get super frustrated if they're not able to recreate that look. So. Uh, be honest about it, have fun with it, and create art to your heart's content with Photoshop Generative Fill. Super fun.